this first sheet. It says equation, table, description, and graph. This is the front. You'll put your name on here. You're going to see all these different colors. That's the equation color. And I'll show you what it means. Then there's a back of it where you're asking which types of functions. You get to create one. Um, make a new one that could be added to the sorting project. So if I was going to do this with a different one, what could you add to it? You get to make up the equation, description, table, and graph. Right? So you're going to be getting 12 equations, 12 tables, 12 verbal descriptions, 12 graphs. They correspond with 12 different functions. Linear, absolute value, exponential, quadratic. You're going to match the graph, equation, table, and description. There'll be no calculator that you're using this. So you won't have to calculate around at all. You can work with each other. You can use your notes. You can talk to each other. Okay? This is to work free. On each graph, the coordinate plane goes from negative 10 to 10. The scale on each axis counts by 1. So when you're taking a look at those, um, you're going to record your matches on the front of the handout. You don't have to cut anything out. And then you'll get your answer on the back of that. Here is what the tables look like. So you're going to be able to notice in the table, notice all of our x's are usually going from negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So when my x increases by y, if it's linear, I should see constant addition, right? Or subtraction. If it's exponential, I should see that I multiply by something. If it is quadratic, I should be able to see like that there is going to be a curve, and I might see absolute value is going to be a v-shape, right? So I'm going to look for those, those are the tables. I'm going to match the table to the description. The description sometimes tells us that what type of function it is. They might give you some other information, so you look at that page. The next page are these graphs, and you're going to notice by the graphs that they have like arrow, but. So when you fill in the front of that sheet, right? For the graph, you're going to have like the bus, or this, or this, okay? When you look at these equations, as you're looking at the equations, I think we have like, um, we didn't get the equation page. Did that? Description, bus, oh, I guess that's the equation. When you get yours tomorrow in class, um, you will have an equation page also. Okay, you're going to see this equation, you're going to definitely be able to say, oh, that first blue one. That's a linear equation. I'm going to match the table. And, and if you finish this, then you just have your time to work out the final on Friday. Okay? So you're going to see an absolute value. You'll see quadratics. You'll see all these different ones. You don't need to cut this out, but you've got to try and find, once you're given the equation, what table matches that equation. You'll put the number there. The next one says what letter. So as I look at this table going across, I might see blue with one with the description, which is letter A, and then the graph is going to be uh, like a bus or something, or the arrow. And then you could just put, oh, it's going to match with this arrow. You're like, I don't get that. Well, this is what, these are all numbers, right? These all have letters. You might put a bike. You could write the word bicycle. You could write the word train. You could do that next time. You could do that. So that's what you're going to be working on Thursday, Friday. And if you get it done, um, and you're working on your final review, going back, taking a look at stuff.